Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How? Uh, what's your name and where are you from? I am. My name is Abdul Wasi. I'm from Afghanistan, but actually I am in India doing BBA course. Okay. Well, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Okay. So today I'm going to show you something, and then we will talk about it. Okay. So first, I need you to choose a number. What number would you like? Number six. Number six. All right. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Of course. Okay. So let me get it right here. Yeah, uh, we using this uh, one for blade, blade machine. Okay, it's, it's a blade, right? There's a blade on it. There's a there's another word. What do we call this? What do you think? Uh, actually, I don't know, but uh, we just using for hire. Okay, and uh, what what do we use it for again? Can you? What is the purpose? We uh, using for hire, like we want to remove our hire. Our hair, right, right, for for shaving, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> right, and it's called a razor. Mm -hmm. A razor, yes. Razor, and someone in the comments said razor blade, uh, but it's a little bit different. The whole thing is the razor, but the sharp parts are called the razor blades. Okay, razor blade. Right, and. So this is, do you think this is an expensive one or a cheap one? This is expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's very cheap. What, what do we call the ones that we buy and we use it a few times and then we throw it in the garbage? We throw it away. What do you think? They have a special word. Mm, I will think later, I will think. <laughs> It it's called a disposable razor. Okay, and disposable razor. Right. So I'm gonna put it in the comments so you and everybody else can see. But it's called a disposable razor. Disposable just means that you can uh, throw it away. And uh, right here we go. There. I just put it in the comments. Disposable razor. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, disposable razor. Right. So you can buy like a pack of maybe 10 or two or whatever, and then you can throw it away. Um, when would I throw it away? What would happen before I would throw it away? What do you think? What do you say, sir? I not get. Uh-huh. Before I throw this away, what, yeah. would, what would happen to it? I not get, sir. Ah, well, if the razor blades, if I try to shave, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's difficult, I can't shave. Then yes. What, the blades are what? The razor blades are, what's the opposite of sharp? I don't know, sir. Uh, dull, dull, uh-huh. Dull, huh? Dull, uh-huh. I'll put that in the comment too. Let's see. So the okay. opposite of sharp is dull. So if it becomes dull, then it's yeah. dip it's difficult to shave and it's it hurts. Then you throw it away. All right. So this is a disposable one. What do we call this one? Uh yeah, beer machine. Uh it's possible. Sometimes they have things in the back that you can use to trim your beard, but this one is, can you hear it? <laughs> right? And I'm like, ah. Yeah. All right. So what do we call this? Machine. It's a machine. Yes, it is. And it's, uh, it's called an electric razor. Yeah, yeah, electric razor. Yeah, electronic razor. Right, right. And, uh, right, so I used to use one like this, but I bought one like this because it's very convenient, right? 
and it's quick, yeah. zoop, 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 and I'm done. Uh huh. But you, you have a full beard. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, sir. Well, which one is better, sir? Which one is uh, uh, better? Which one is good? Well, I don't think there's better or good. I think it depends on the person. For me, I prefer to be clean shaven. It's just kind yeah. of my my tradition. Um, what do you do when your beard gets too long? What What do you yeah. use? I use a machine. Like this? Yes. Ah, uh huh. And do you like to have a long beard or a short beard? Short beard, not long. Okay, and why? Why don't you want to have a long beard? But actually, I like short beard, not uh, perfect, not uh, long a lot. Uh huh. And why? Yes. Why? Why do you prefer to have a short beard and not a long beard? <laughs> I send you message at uh, personal. It's not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, uh for me, I like to have short hair. Short hair and clean shaven and it's just easier for me. So, okay. Why? Why, sir? Because it's easy. It's very convenient. It's quick. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. Thank you so much, sir. I am your uh, the best follower of you because I uh, I follow every video of you, uh, and also I some time I will message to your uh, personal. Uh, uh, what do you think? What do you call? I send you some time uh, personal message. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thank you. I, Have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye bye. Uh, Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Uh, Hello. I remember you. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All How right. Are you? Yeah. I'm great. How are you? Um. Great. Okay. Can you yeah. choose a number? Number two. Number two. Yeah. Hey, okay. are you ready? Yes. Okay. What is this? Four. <laughs> I don't know. And you twist it. Stip, da, 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 da. Hmm. All right. I've never seen before. All right. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, for open a lid. Yes! In the comments, someone said can opener. Right. It's a can opener. Yeah. All right. Do you ever use a can opener? For settings. For what? Sardines. Ah, sardines. Yeah. Do you, do you like <laughs> to eat sardines? Yes. I like fish. Uh -huh. uh, do, do you like corn? <laughs> corn. Yeah, I like. I like corn. Uh -huh. And sometimes the sardines, they have the top where you can open yeah. it. But sometimes you have to use the can, right? Or the can opener. But I use my hands. You use your <laughs> hands? My fingers. Oh. Yeah. Ah, so this one, it, it doesn't have the easy open. Right? Yeah. So I have to use the can opener. Okay, so can can you make a sentence using can opener? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm open set sentence with, but I don't know what this name. It's the can opener. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the comments and see. Yeah, I'll try to see. How do I 
Okay, so it's a can opener. Okay, so can you make yeah. a, a sentence using can opener? Oh, yeah. About, about said Dennis from shop and use opener for open lid. Sure. I bought a can of sardines from the store or the shop and yeah. I used a can opener to open it. Yeah. And then I yeah. smelled sardines and I was like, hmm, and I ate them. Yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. Okay. Can you ask me a question with the word can opener? Yeah. How do you use can opener? Sure, sure. How do you use a can opener? Well, you have to put it on the lid. This is called the lid. And you yeah. clamp it on the side and you squeeze. And it cuts squeeze. the lid. And then when it's closed, you turn the handle and it twists around and it cuts it open. But I, I, I'm not going to open it now because I don't want to eat corn right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well done. Yeah. Thank you for coming live. I need to move forward, okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Are you still right. in Indonesia? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, what a city. Jakarta. Jakarta. Yes. It's so near with me. Okay, well, I need to move forward. Thank you. You're welcome to come back in the future. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Can I get your name and where you're from? My name is Emerson and I'm from Brazil. Okay. Well, uh, obrigado for uh, joining. Very nice to meet oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, you uh, spoken uh, with a bob and shaving and hands. I want to uh, show you it. I am a bob in Brazil. Oh, you're a bob. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. This top cake yeah, this top cake is perfect for me. <laughs> Right, so so you're the expert. I'm just showing. <laughs> wow, cool. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, sorry. One time, cause my. Oh yeah, cause my my phone is broken. The 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 battery, the, the uh -huh. battery is bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Um, I'm gonna have you choose a number. Which number would you like? My number favorite is, um, yeah, it's two, but it's chicken. I, I want three. Three. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you something, and we will talk about it. Let's take a look. All right. Okay. Zipper. Okay. All right. So can you make a sentence? about what am I doing? So right now I am what? When you use it, that, the zipper. Uh-huh. Right? What do we say? So right now it's this, but what do we say when we want to open? There's a word for it. Sorry? How do we say, so right now I'm closing it, but there's another word if I want to open it. Do you, yeah. Can you, what do we call that? There's another word. Um. In, in Portuguese. <laughs> no, in English. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know in English this name. Sorry. Uh, well, let's see. Let me move my comment. Here we go. It's if you want to open it, you could say unzip, unzip. Oh, right. unzip. Like, Right, I'm going to put it in the comments so everybody can see. It's just a short little word. Unzip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me pin my comment one sec. Unzip. Okay. So it's common for if you want to say uh, welcome, come in, you can unzip your jacket. So it's like open your jacket or unzip something. Uh huh. 
And then what do we say if we want to close it? What do we say? So I'm I'm unzipping it and now I'm what? Zip. It's open and in closing. Right? So what is another way to say closing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> closing. Right? So we had we had unzip. See, so this was unzip. And now do we what do we say when we do this? Close it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just say we just say zip zip so i'm zip. unzipping and now i'm zipping now oh, zipping yeah right and can you tell me what kind of clothing use zippers yeah we zipping in jacket and yeah, you talk about it and and many things i don't know the words <laughs> because i'm uh, nervous now <laughs> ah no problem let's see how about a bag do you ever see a zipper on a bag oh yeah in the bag sure it's super good sure how about uh pants on your pants in the front there's probably a zipper or maybe a button yeah yeah uh huh how about shoes have you ever seen shoes with a zipper Yeah, and, and shoes is different. And here uh -huh. the the music shoes with a uh, zipper, but this is good. Uh-huh. In the comments, uh people will say a pencil case. Uh-huh. So people oh, might pencil case. In bag. Sure. Right? In bag. Uh how about a suitcase or a luggage if you're going to travel, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, oh, they say boots and a Here. skirt. A zip a tent. Yes. Lots of good possibilities. All right. So, can you make a sentence with the word zipper? Yeah. Um Do you have one jacket with zipper? Yes. Uh-huh. So you made a question. Good, good. Yes, I have a jacket with a zipper and uh the zippers are for the pockets. So they are small zippers like this. And then there's also a big zipper in the front and I can oh. zip up or zip. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you made a question, can you make a statement using zipper? Um and here there is one uh object that we get our boots and get on. Okay. And we use a zipper in that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Entra <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we will say we will say zip in in there. Aha. Uh -huh. Can right. I show you? Can I show sure. you? Sure. Yep. And here. The biggest zipper. Can you see? And there is shoes. Oh yeah. It's kind of like a like a mini wardrobe or a mini closet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Very very useful, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, This thank you hard. for coming. And I'm speaking about very hard. <laughs> ah, but it's it's a challenge, but it will help us improve, get better. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. Hey, thank okay. you. Thank you, bro. I love right. your job and you are a good 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 person. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Thank you for coming live. You're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Hello. How are you? Hello, fine. And you? Great. Can I get your name and where you're from? Of course, my name is Bora. I'm from Turkey. <laughs> ah, uh, merhaba. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, merhaba, merhaba. Yeah, yeah. It's a Turkish word. Right. Okay. So I need you to choose a number. Okay. My favorite uh, number is seven. Seven. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I will show you something, and we will talk about it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see.
Uh, let's see. Mm. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know this mean. <laughs> have you seen it before though? No, I haven't. Uh, I have seen never this uh, object. Ah, you've never seen this before. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So here's a little one. And I'll show you what it does, is you put it in here, and then you pull it, and it and you hold things, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, I understand you. So maybe for like, uh, I don't know, cables, or you want to keep your suitcase together, you can use this, one of these things. Or to, just to hold things together, right? So you stick it in, and it goes like that, and it holds things tight. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm, how can I say? Uh, in car? I'm sorry? Uh, in car, uh, this, how can I say? I don't know, object. Uh, one minute. Uh -huh. uh, it's not. Uh, one minute. What does it mean? Binder. Yeah? It's a binder? Uh, a binder? Well, it's the kind of, it's the right idea that a binder holds something together, right? Um, but this I, wouldn't yeah. call this, I wouldn't call this a binder. I would call it a cable tie or a plastic tie. Hmm, so I'll put it, let me put it in the comment, okay? One second, so we can see. All right, uh, plastic. My thumbs are too big, <laughs> one moment. <laughs> One plastic tie or cable tie. There we go. Let me switch. Yeah, I agree with you, Zora. It's used to uh, to lock the plastic bags. It, well, it's possible. That's called like a zip lock on the top, maybe. But maybe if you put this see. Let's see, like, uh, let me see. So let's say we have this thing, and we want to keep it tight. We would put it yeah. around it, and then we pull it, and we pull it tight, and, right? So it's together. Zip. Yeah. Uh-huh. So a plastic tie, cable tie, or zip tie. That's what it's called. Uh-huh. And sometimes... Uh, the police, they use these too, but they use big ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you've seen I know them? this. Yeah, I know this. Aha. Uh -huh. And why do you think they use plastic ones? <clears throat> what? Uh, I can't understand your question. Please repeat that. Sure. Why do the police use plastic handcuffs or plastic ties like this? Okay, okay, I understand you. Uh, the, pl the police uh, is <clears throat> catching for, catching for, um, still, uh, oh, still, still, um, still. Roba, yeah, Roba. Okay, sure, sure. And uh, usually the police will use metal handcuffs, but if there are like many, yeah, yeah. but if there are many, many people, like a demonstration, or crazy number of people, they might use plastic because they're quick. Zip, 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 and it's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with you, yeah. Okay. You're so right. Can you make a sentence with plastic tie or cable tie? Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you? How? I'm great, thank you. How about you? I am stupendous. I'm great. <laughs> yeah, it's stupendous, yeah. Sometimes right. you... Okay, I mean, I remember once you uh, told me that word, and it was new to me, so thank you. <laughs> well, I can't always say I'm great, right? So I, I tried to use extra words that are similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank All you. All right, what do you um, think? Number one... Number one. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's the do it. Let, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
I'll try to hold them up. Can you see? Uh, it's, it is called a toss. Hmm, let's see. So there's one and there's two. What are they called? I don't know. Uh, there's a word like toss. I think they call them like toss. Can, I don't, possibly. Can you spell the word that you're talking about? T-O-S-S. -S. Oh, toss. Ah, that would be like a verb to kind of to throw, to toss something. Uh-huh. Dice, uh, really? dice, is it dice? It's dice, yes. Good, uh, good. All right. But there's something interesting about these. Well, first, we'll get to that in a moment. What do you think they're used for? What is the purpose? Play games. Uh-huh, right. And how do we describe how we use them? What do we do with them? We toss them. You can toss them, right? You can also say, uh, there's a short word that means to go around oh, and around. Oh, oh. Yes, right, right. Most, most of the time I've heard people say kind of like a command, but like a nice, go ahead, roll the dice, roll the dice, right? Yeah, roll the dice. So you roll the dice, okay? Now here's the tricky part where even native speakers will say it incorrectly, okay? What do we call just one? Mm, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> we call it like dice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Most people will just say a dice. But co the correct English is a die. So it's two dice or four dice or 1,000 dice and one die. Hmm. How, okay, how do, you, uh, how do you spell it? Yes, I'm going to use my fat thumbs and type. <laughs> Give me just a moment. I'll try to use my fingers too. Let's see. Uh, so you, I'll do the number one die or uh, two dice there we go so it's d i it's not like d i e can you see i uh yeah one die or two dice like one mouse and two mice <laughs> yeah <kind of. laughs> right right so uh how many sides does each die have six six all right and uh can you they said you, they use them for playing games, right? Um, yeah. What is the idea? Why do we need to use a dice in games? Or how would it be difficult if we didn't have dice? We, um, you know, we need to roll them and see um, what number they show. And uh, we're going to uh, use those numbers to play the game. Sure. And how do we express that we don't know what number will show up, right? We, how do we say that? It's going to be a mm number. Um, sorry, could you please say it again? Sure. sure. We're trying to figure out a word that would describe that we don't know what number it's going to be. It's going to be by chance. Uh, there's a word that starts with R that means that it's not fixed. You don't know what it's going to be until it happens. Mm, I don't know. Possibility, but it's, it doesn't start with... <laughs> it starts R. with... Uh -huh. Oh, random. Somebody yes. says random. Right. I see your curse says random. Yes, yes, right. So we need a random number. Uh, why, yeah. do we need a ra why do we need a random number? Why does it make the game better? Um, because, um, you know, they get, the game would be more exciting if if we, we, you know, we're not, um, we're not aware of, uh, you know, the, the result. Uh -huh. um, I don't know how to explain it. Sure, right. I agree. It's, it's by chance. We can't predict what will happen, so it makes it a little bit more exciting, maybe. Um, yeah. How, how do you think the game, or how fun would the game be if all of the numbers were the same? <laughs> <laughs> the same. It, it wouldn't be. I think it wouldn't be exciting because you know the result would be clear before we you know just roll the dice and. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. And, and there is a kind of game where it's very common to use dice. It's not a specific 
game, but it's kind of like a genre, a kind of game. Have you heard of those? It's called, uh, like, for example, chess, backgammon, um, checkers, Monopoly. They're all this board kind games. of game. Say that again? Board games? Yes, right. So they're board games. And it's, well, not for, not for chess or even checkers, but, like... I can't like Monopoly. It's very common to see dice and stuff like that, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So. So. Thank you. All right. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Can you make a sentence and a question using dice? Okay, I rolled the dice, but unfortunately, the number was a uh, zero. It wasn't even one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two zeros. <laughs> Okay, and a question. Yeah. Uh, should I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Using okay. dice. Okay, how often do you use board games? Oh, using dice. Um, do you, I don't know. Do you th what do you think uh, the, the number would be if you roll the dice now? <laughs> Whoa, maybe we'll find out, huh? Okay. Yeah. So I have my, my table, and I guess I'll just drop them. So six. Five plus yeah. one is six. Woo! Whatever yeah, that means. Good, <laughs> good number. <laughs> uh, so. Okay. Thank you for having me, teacher. Yes, thank you, and I'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Aha, hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Wait, wait, I need to think of a different word than great. So I'll go with uh, terrific. I am terrific Ter today. Yeah, I'm terrific today. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, I need you to choose a number. Number five. Number five. All right. Yep. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes, all right. All right, let's do it. Here we go. And I'll show it to you, and I'll show you how it works. Oh, it is kind of luck, but mostly for those who uh, who climb the rocks and mountain or some activities like that use it. Uh -huh. But I I don't know the specific name of that. What uh -huh. is it? But I assume you you've seen it before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. And can you, before I tell you what the name is, can you tell me how it's used more specifically? Yeah, as I said before, uh, when you want to link two things um, uh, together, uh, mostly they are uh, heavy or they're mm, tough or strong or, I don't know, mm, yeah, that's it. And ah. you want to do it quickly. Uh, for instance, when you want to climb the rock and you want to uh, blink yourself to, uh, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> what is it? <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. Uh -huh. Well, it's in the, in the comments. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Gazin Nildirim says Carabina. It's very, very close. It's Carabiner. Carabiner. Car and I'm going to type in the comments. Give me a quick moment. Carabine. Uh, Carabiner. There it is. Let's see if I typed it right. Carabiner. And it looks like Carabiner. It, it looks like Carabiner, but for some reason we pronounce it Carabiner. Carabiner. Uh, I think the root of the word is not from English. Perhaps it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would guess maybe like Latin or one of the Romance or, languages, but... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh -huh. Carabiner. Mm -hmm. Carabiner, right. So, yeah. this thing that we're going to do right now, we are, yeah. clip, we are clipping it. We're clipping the yeah. carabiner onto, I don't know, a rope, or maybe, mm -hmm. maybe there are two carabiners, and you clip them together. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the function is like the cough. When police want to do something quickly and <laughs> arrest someone, do it like that. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I suppose. And 
Can you tell me, if you can see if it's clear, what is the difference between these two carabiners? Uh, one is larger, <laughs> one is right. smaller. Uh -huh. I don't, uh, the, the length, the material, I'm, I'm not sure about the material, but the, the function is the same. Uh -huh. uh, for, for example, uh, one smaller one you, is used for uh, some reasons, like for backpacks or for something not too heavy to carry, but that sure. one perhaps uh, is used for uh, a body or an athlete to climb somewhere. Sure, like rock climbing or mountain climbing yeah. or something like that. How about... Yeah. See if I can hold them with both hands. This thing right here, this one doesn't have it. Uh, this thing. Uh huh. It's rolling. What is it? Uh, yes. It's like when you want to adjust it to something else, you can. Um, I don't know. What, would you please uh -huh. roll it? it uh -huh. you, you can uh, twist it so it, uh -huh. it turns and it twists and it closes. And now. Uh -huh, now uh -huh. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it works like a uh, like, uh, lo lock. Yes, exactly. So right now, uh -huh, you can't okay. do it, right? So mm -hmm. what, do you think, what is the purpose if you're mountain climbing and you have a lock on your carabiner? Why would you want uh -huh, that? Uh -huh. uh, we do it <laughs> to make it uh, stronger and it, it, it doesn't like uh, as a spring, uh, no longer as a spring. And... Uh, it it is fastened until you open it or twist it to sure. open it again. Right. So so you don't fall down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a guarantee. Right. But, right. Yeah, but it depends so, on the material. Sure. So it's just kind of an extra extra insurance that you won't mm -hmm. lose. You won't lose clip from either the other carabiner or the hook or the rope or whatever it is. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Car so, car carabiner. Carabiner. And sometimes yeah. people would just say a clip, right? A, a clip, clip, like a, a big clip or a rope clip. But I think mm -hmm. the, the proper mountain climbing term is carabiner. Yeah, mm -hmm. carabiner. For Caribbean. <laughs> right, right. Ca ca the Caribbean... <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Can you make a sentence using carabiner? Mm -hmm. uh, would you trust your carabiner, uh, the the silver one, not the blue one, to climb the mountain or to for a uh, uh, cliff diving or some sort of <laughs> activities <laughs> like that? Uh, Do you no. trust it? Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. not, not this one, because this one is just uh, for like a backpack. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not rated. It's not rated for heavy, heavy weight, right? Oh yeah, so, the purpose is different. <laughs> yeah, it's not a professional version, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Can you make a, a statement using carabiner? Uh, so you ask, Please, would you please you, repeat it? Sure. You did a question. Can you make a statement yep. using carabiner? Uh, okay, carabiner. Uh, mm -hmm. And because because you're more advanced, I'm going to add a second twist. Please put it that it happened yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, okay. Uh, my car uh, was was broken yesterday, but uh, mistakenly I. <laughs> Uh, I use the car carabiner, small carabiner, to link it into another car. But all of a sudden, uh, my car, because we were uh, we were um, going somewhere upper and upper uh, up altitude, uh, and because I choose that mistakenly instead of something stronger, uh, my car crashed and. That was a really regretful <laughs> moment for me to use the something with another purpose. Oh, too long. <laughs> ah, that's okay. So what I heard is you, your car broke down 
and you tried to use a carabiner to connect it to another car and another car pull, yeah pull it exactly. to a service station mm -hmm. or something and un unfortunately yeah. the carabiner was too weak and it it broke yeah it was really fragile and i i shouldn't have trusted <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh okay well done thank you for coming live thank you very much thank you right. have a wonderful Bye. evening right day. yeah yeah day. it's evening yeah it's evening, evening. In, oh. uh yeah five six six yeah six thirty now Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh-huh. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon or good day. Whatever <laughs> time is, I don't know. Good night for me, but good day we can work. Oh, two people. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, 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 I get, can I get your name and where you're from? Okay. So my name is Zafar. But the Guzin, uh, who is actually, whose name is being shown on the display, is my sister. She's over um, here at the moment. <laughs> I'm ill, so I can't. She's got a little spot on the lip. That's the reason she's shy, so she didn't want to be really on the screen. Okay. And where are you from? The connection kind of cut out for a moment. Right. We are from Turkey. Ah, so another merhaba. <laughs> Welcome. Merhaba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need you to choose a number. We have two left. Right. Uh, number four. Number four. All right. Okay. Are you ready? We are. <laughs> All right. The, the connection is kind of freezing, but hopefully we can do it. All right. Let's see. Let's right. just move the place because we've got kind of Wi-Fi internet here. Which is ah. not really good. Let's move back somewhere else. Okay. Well, while you move, I'll grab my object. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll give it a try. All right. So this is the biggest one today. Okay. What do we call this? <laughs> uh huh. Uh, right. It's um. Please. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I knew the name of it. Wait a second. <laughs> extension. Extension. S say it again. Extension. extension. Ah, okay. So this part would be like the extension, right? Uh, it's like the cord, but I'm trying to go after this part right here. What do we call it? Hmm. Plug. Ah, okay. So this would be the plug, right? So you plug it in. Yeah. Can you tell me? Phew. Say it again. <laughs> fuse. <laughs> Not a fuse, but the right idea. We're talking about electrical equipment, right? Uh, can you tell me what is the purpose? Electricity, to get the energy. Uh huh. And why do I need so many of these? Ah, okay. Because we want to distribute the same energy to more than one device. Sure, sure. Okay. And each one of these is called an outlet. An outlet. Outlet, so, correct. So I have, what, six outlets here. But the whole thing all together is called, any, any last guesses? Spinter. <laughs> well, it's called a power strip. Power strip. Power strip. Okay. And I'm going to put it in the We didn't really know that terminology, but at least <laughs> we were so close as, a, as an idea. Right. I'm going to put it in the comments so everybody can see. Let's see. Power strip. And then I'll pin it so people can see. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So it is a power strip. And uh, mm -hmm. what would we call this part? Uh, uh, Do you mean it? No. It's a button, but it's a... Uh, it is a few... No, not the fuse. Turn on, turn off. I know what it. What is it for? Yeah, turn on, turn off. Do you miss it? Button, just button. Okay, it's it's like a, it's a button, right? But it's a specific kind of button, right? We could call it the power switch. Switch, switch yeah. On. Uh huh. And if you could also say, you know, the on-off button, that would work. But usually, when I think of a button, I think of something you push in, and this kind mm. of a switch that goes back and forth. But yeah. 
Yeah. If you said the on off button, I think everyone would understand. I think the correct is just on off switch. Uh-huh. Switch. And, yeah. Right. So at the be at the beginning you said uh uh extension cord, right? I think. And yeah. an extension cord would be just the cord, right? With maybe just one of these. But if it has a whole if it has a whole bunch it's called a power strip. Yeah. All right. So can you give me uh four, four different possibilities of things that I might plug in here? Uh mobile phone, computer, fridge, TV, TV, iron, handy, so many other things. Right. And so I'm going to be picky here. We don't technically put the cell phone here. What do we connect? And then we connect it to the cell phone. What do we call that? Adapter. Not the adapter. Charger. Yes, charger. 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 Uh-huh. And if you sometimes when you travel to different countries and they have different plugs, right? Then right. Would, then you would use an adapter, right? So maybe the UK oh, adapter, you could use like this is like Indonesia, this is what you we think. Uh-huh. What do you guys have in Turkey? Exactly the same what you're holding in your hand at the moment. Oh, the same. Ah. Yeah. So, so two plugs. Correct. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay. All right. Let me see. I have an adapter one sec. Okay, just to just no more. Okay. <laughs> There you go. So, ah, what can you see that? Good news. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I can take this one any if someone comes to Indonesia and they have something from America or maybe Malaysia or whatever then this side is the Indonesian side and this is right uh-huh so an adapter universal yeah. universal yes universal adapter have you seen the ones that are like a little square box and you can push them in and out and you can go to yeah. any country uh-huh 